Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm just going to show you on how I use Suido to compile the performance across all the Facebook campaigns that I'm running across all the different clients, right? So the first thing you need to do is to click on create a report and just give a good naming. So for the purpose of this demonstration, just going to put in my company name. All right. And then you can skip the client as well as the template. So click on create a report. Now, the first thing you need to do is to click on Add Data Source, right? So, choose the Facebook Ads and then search for the um, the account that you like to put in, right? Okay, for example, this. Let, let's give it a good naming. Alright, and then save Data Source. The next thing is, of course, to add on. No, keep on adding all the different accounts that you are actually using, right? Let me just choose this. For example, all right, and then save data source. All right, so what you're going to do is to keep on adding the rest of the campaigns that you have. But uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to stop at two. Now, the first thing you need to do is to click on add your first widget or KPI. And what you need to do is to click on KPI. All right, choose the the, um, the account that you like to pull from. I'm, just, I'm going to explain the save widgets in a short while, but uh, for, for this, right, the next step you need to do is to click on single metric. Just wait for it to load. All right, the first thing first uh, is ready to check through the date range, right? So what I usually like to do is, is actually to have a three days, seven days and 14 days. Yeah, so let me choose the date range is three days. Presentation. You can actually put leads, uh, like for example, uh, the number leads dash three days, for example, and a target. Um, let me choose a metric first that you make a, a lot more, more sense. And this is actually leads, right? Because I actually are running the, uh, the lead ads. So it makes sense for me to choose the lead form. All right. Then go back to target. And then it's actually this is a pretty nifty target, right? So for example, if I like to hit a target of 100 leads per month, so it means that the leads form should be greater than 100 for the part uh, for that particular month. Always click on visualize the target because it gives a large a lot more better visual uh, the visualization. Yeah. So metric, same thing. And then the filter. So what I usually do is I like to you know to pull from a certain campaigns. So what you need to do is to click on campaign ID. And then you can actually choose from all uh, any any of the campaigns that you're actually running right now. So because I'm just running a lead ad to this particular uh, real estate agent, so Moth. So I just click on this and then I click on save. So it says that, okay, for the past, uh, let's say because it's I'm running, I need like 100 leads per month. It automatically calculates that in three days, I need about, uh, I need 10 leads. Yeah. So I'm only at three and therefore I'm actually short for off, you know, by a lot. Right. And therefore it's actually in the red zone. So what I can do is to duplicate it. Uh, click on copy, repeat it for the seven dates, date range, and then choose uh, type in seven, apply period. The rest actually don't change. And the last thing would be, oh, sorry, let me just go back. On the presentation, change it seven days, and then save. All right. And then I copy it again. Date range, uh, 14 days, yeah. All right. And then 14. Now let me just um make let's say that I just change this to like the um, like the target it needs to be greater than tenth, you know, for, for demonstration purposes. So you see that okay, cool. So I need that let's say for just 10 leads uh for the for per month, right? So I need for 4.67 leads every 14 days. And because I hit 22 for the past 14 days, so it gave actually a, you know, like like a big tick. Now the next column I like to do is to have the cost per lead, you know, for you know, for the campaigns I'm actually running. Same thing, um, choose KPI and the same thing as well. Uh, go back to single metric. So in this, uh, the date range will be same thing, three days. Um, presentation, CPL, three days. All right. And go back to metrics clicks right so this is actually go for cost per lead cost per lead form all right now then we go back to target 
and it says that cost per lead form should be lesser than for example each lead that i'm willing to pay for would be 30 dollars a lead same thing as well visualize the target the last thing would be the filter um, of course it needs to be the same because the the first row and i'm just pulling it from one campaign yeah so the rest needs to be the same so let me just click on save say that cool so uh because like cost per lead is $30, it automatically calculates that uh, for the past three days, it's actually $32.69. So I'm almost to target, which is why it's actually in orange. So let me just duplicate it for the rest, uh, for the seven days as well as the 14 days. Seven, change this to seven. The rest is pretty much the same. Everything is automatically calculated. Repeat the last one for the 14 days. Uh, 14 days yeah so that's cool so it automatically it basically automatically shows that okay for the for the past 14 days as things has been pretty pretty good but just that okay um like results has been falling from since for the for the next three days yeah now the next one would be is to pull out the detailed performance um like for the campaigns now for that to happen just click on insert and then click on widget all right uh choose from the account let me just go down and then choose um can conversion oh, sorry campaign performance yeah so there's actually quite a few things you can play around so what i can do is the date range um so what i like to do is let's say i can pull results from yesterday and then campaign performance the dimension the matrix is actually all according to you know what i can do is um uh, you can actually put in all the relevant information that you want. So let's say I would like to have the cost per lead form, right? Uh, let me just type it out. Let's say let cost per lead form, and I would like to have the CPM. And then I just probably like to move it all the way up, and like to, you know, you can really shift it out, uh, shift around to see what you you like to you know to play with, right? And then the filter, I don't usually like to put a filter because I like to see all the campaigns I'm running right now. So this is actually yesterday, right? And then click on save settings. So there you have it. So uh, like just for yesterday, I actually ran this one campaign. Uh, you know, the CPM is actually $23.31. And then the next thing you can do is to duplicate it to the next, uh, let's say the seven, the three days, the seven days, right? So what I can do is click on, click on copy. And then uh, for the past three days, uh-huh that this is actually uh three days and then click on the save settings you know that's pretty much it so I, what i'd like to do is you know to duplicate it for the like seven days and 14 days as well so of course to uh what you can do is to put in a page break and then you can repeat the same thing for the next account right so what i like to do is sometimes to copy um right so this is actually for the old mark right and then click on save All right, and then what I need to do is, you know, shift it all the way down. So let me just check that, um, you know, the filter, there's no filter, there's a matrix, a lead form, greater than 100, like for in this case, actually I actually just need 30 leads per month. So let me click on save. Okay, cool. So again, to repeat the same thing for everything else. So what, of course, what you can do is to put in text and images, shift it up and say is that, okay, right, this, like this is for OMAC LLP. For example, all right. So that's pretty much it. So the next thing what you're gonna do is to make sure that you can actually schedule out the report, yeah. So what you can do is to click on schedule report, and then uh, start sending er uh, interval is every single day. Uh, choose let's say tomorrow. You can choose any time you want. I my personal preference is like five a.m. because. I do have actually like a VA starting work at about 6, 6 ish to 7 a.m. So I want to make sure that it's in before, you know, before she actually checks everything. Yeah. So the date range is go down to custom range, previous one day. Right. So that's, let me just check through, start sending tomorrow. Uh, stop sending. So basically, don't have anything for the stop sending interval every one day, custom range, uh, previous one day. So next, click on compose message. And then you know send it to whichever emails that you want to choose from 
so of course it's let's say this is um, if this is actually internal i like to put in internal dash daily uh overview overall performance all right and then uh, do check check this such that um, you are choosing pdf as attachment so hey team refer to the attach report all right Like for example, who beans. All right, and then just click on done. Oh, sorry. Um, like for example, notification, notification at leads. All right. Okay, so cool. And then just click on done. All right, that's all for the Swedo report. I hope that this is actually useful, and I'll check you out for the next videos.